Okay, so we talked about posture. Take your bow, put it behind your back, and let your head touch it as well. So you you can feel your spine nice and tall. Don't look down. Try to look a slightly up and check out your head. Okay, then with your cello, just kind of keep noticing your back as you move your cello a bit. Okay, and then keep noticing your back and, and notice your tummy muscles. Okay, they have to, you can't have a weak tummy or you'll get a weak back. I don't know if you know that. Anyway, they should be slightly engaged your tummy to support your spine. Okay, so then take your cello and put it where you want it. Okay, is your back still nice and tall? That's really good. Now, I want you to uh, try to just do some full bows and actually before that, can you find your sits bones? Okay, now I feel my left, so now I feel my right. Just by this gentle, tiny bit of swaying. And then see if you can start your bow. And as you get towards the tip, you're going actually pretty, pretty soon you'll probably feel your left sit bone. Let's just stop there for a sec. As you keep going to the tip, notice your right foot, if it can help you a little bit. You push slightly, very gently into the floor with your right foot. Just, it'll help you get a strong tone out there and actually even help you get to the tip because if your arm is short, especially on the A string, you can't even get to the tip. So uh, let's try the A and I'm gonna lean on our left sit bone ever so slightly and put a little bit of weight into the right foot as we get into the upper half. Is that cool? We go farther. And it gives you a nice tone out there in the upper half. Now, let's try an up bow. So we're still gonna be kind of a little bit to the left with our pressure in the right foot. Just a tiny bit of weight. Let's call it weight, not pressure. And as we go to the frog, your weight will shift a little bit to the right sit bone now. And I want you to really hardly hold your bow when you get to the frog. And try a really gentle change there. So let's do that. Whoa, smooth bow change when you hardly hold the bow at the frog. Try again. We're starting on our left sit bone with a little bit of weight in the right foot. Actually, you know what that does? It moves your right knee forward about a centimeter, maybe not even a centimeter, okay? Notice that, woo, you can glance down there and see your right knee move a tiny, tiny bit forward. Okay, sorry, so in this position, your right knee will already be a tiny bit forward and then it'll probably come in and the left knee will move it like a centimeter forward as you get to the frog. Okay, so practice that. It's really, really fun. That's calling back your primary control, how your body really likes to move in a balanced way. Rather than being stiff, if I didn't do that, this is how I would play. It's still pretty good, but I've got some rigidity, very you know, subtle, but some subtle rigidity in my body, my body, my trunk, and um, all the way down to the bottom of my spine. So, you know, it's, we have to sit to play the cello, so it's so important to move because sitting is bad for humans sitting on a chair. I want you to then try uh, some scales and I'm going to do it, um, I'm just going to make up a way that's very simple but I can still kind of feel all those things. 
to look down. Try to look around you. So that was just an eight note scale. Try another eight note scale. <laughs> Okay, um, 